Ooh. Boy, it's cold outside, ain't it, man? It sure is, man. Look, I see you got your little scarf on. Keeping you warm all the sun. Yeah. yeah, I got the old lady. She went ahead and sent it to me. Man. Look, boy over there's got a little fire up there working. Keeping everything, everything warm up in there. Yeah. Hey, when are you gonna get a, a fiddle made? Oh man, I don't know how to play one of them like you do, man. Well, hmm. Hey, look, you heard what's going on down south? Oh yeah, boy. The Alamo, Mexico, old General, General Grant. No, man, General Grant wasn't at the Alamo, man. He was in Mexico. No, I'm talking about down south, down Texas. All them people coming across the border, man. Some things just don't, don't get changed, man. It's, just, it's getting worse and worse. All right, well. Here, let me play a little something. Sit back here, old son. Get you some, get you something warm. Get you some coffee. I mean, it's like I told my wife, you may be right, I may be crazy, but it just may be a lunatic you're looking for. Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen, sales, bonanza. We're gonna do one, two, three, four cigar box guitars. The Lord of the Rings guitar right here. This is a double neck nylon over here. And then a tripped out double string uh, blues crazy scale thing. We're gonna get into this a little while. We're gonna sound check them and I'm gonna explain to you how I'm hoping that, I gotta fix my shirt, dude. There, problem solved. We're gonna uh, sound check and show you build 107, 108 on the Lord of the Rings box, which if I forget to tell you, does come with the Trivial Pursuit game. It's got the cards, everything's in here. I bought this at a, um, a yard sale years ago. And yes, if you're, at, if you're wondering, the one ring is in here. That's cool. We'll bust all that out later. Time is of the essence. Everybody's busy. We're all doing stuff. This is, it's, listen, it's a sales bonanza. When tr I got these four uh, bills, trying to get them up for Christmas. Here, it's, there's still time. I know it's kind of late, but whatever. Uh, oh, and this right here. It does come with the Trivial Pursuit. Uh, the Trivial Pursuit uh, board and the information. But that's beside the point. Let's set it over here. We're gonna sound check and show you the beef eating beef eater. This is a bass baritone with bass baritone strings. But every time I put it into the Vox, because it's so beefy, it, it, I can hear my my speaker going going. <laughs> Please don't. Or, um, so we're gonna check him out here too. Number three of the Tactical 10 is the first one I'm gonna put up for value for value. We'll get into that later. It's also called for sale, but it's a different idea. And then number 114, which is my most recent build, which is the most recent build with the Lighthouse headstock. We'll get into that in a minute. I need to go to the store. Oh, of course, and we're gonna sell it. We're gonna do value for value with the 5150. Yep. You see that 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 crazy? I don't know. Aren't all my videos crazy. Um, we're at, the whole deal was is messing with this tremolo, and that, and the hype of this tremolo was it took me like two years to figure out what to do with it because I so have been trying to do tremolos for such a long time. CB Giddy does sell these ones, the Telescos, or whatever they're called. They're from Japan, I believe. They're they're cool. They require some, you know. Getting into it, see over here. The Kaler, all the Jerry Cantrell. I mean, I was, anyways, I've been playing with the idea for like a long time, dude. So that's a dedication box because my son bought me that box. I don't want to sell the unofficial Gretsch, the unofficial Gretsch draft. You know, you've heard of the Penguin and you've heard of the, of the elusive White Falcon, yo. But, but you don't have an unofficial one that Gretsch has not sponsored 
the unofficial Gretsch, you know, giraffe. I mean, what's up with that? And a Richards. Look at him. What are you looking at? Oh, you lost your head. Uh, so it's a sales bonanza. Dude, if there's one thing Mike has taught me how to do is sell, baby. Sell. I said sell, baby. Right? Uh, Captain. I know I'm speed talking. We got to go. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. I mean, if there's one thing Mike has taught me how to do, dude, is sell. Sell, 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 baby. Mike would say maybe mark it up and move it out. But we're not going to do that. We're going to do a little thing called value for value, which I've learned from the podcast No Agenda, which is they come out twice a week. Adam Curry, Dvorak. And uh, anyway, it's a good place to glean some information from. FYI, along with band.video, but that's beside the point. I, <laughs> I know, I know, dude, but we got to go, man. I got to go. I got the Vox here. It, when I play the beef eating beef eater through it, it's, it's rattling my speaker. So I'm going to get like a little mini bass amp. Ooh, this is going to be cool that I can get the, uh, ooh, this would be cool, bro. And then we can bust out the Morley, the Morley, uh, Stereo chorus. That'd be fun if I get a little another mini amp. All right. You can go out in and you can go out left and right. So I'll go to you. Do a little big bass amp. A little mini bass amp will give you a lot of thump a dump. You see what I'm saying? All right. Yeah. Everybody's everybody's tuned up. So one, two, three, four. We'll be in this video. We're gonna do it real quick. They don't got a lot of time. I don't want this video to be an epically long video. I just want to demonstrate these will be for sale and we'll explain value for value in a few minutes. I need to run to the store real quick and then we're, um, we'll be back. Peace. Oh, this right here, remember I've been threatening about the Jojo B, Jojo Ba? This is the, this is, I've been using this one tripod. All right, Kevin, time out. <laughs> this is the second one I've used in these things, man. This is, this is the only thing I use when I make these videos. This in my phone, this in my iPhone. All 400 videos I've done here, I'm not being braggadocious. It was Del Puckett's idea. We'll talk about Del Puckett's box in a minute. So, you know, I, and everyone's broke here. You know, seriously, that's why I'm trying to get these things sold, hopefully. Listen to me here. It's something about these little sockets right here that just keep wearing out after a while. Today, I tried putting wax in there from that sex wax. That, <laughs> um, for, uh, um, don't think of anything. It's, it's called sex wax. It's for uh, surfers. That Captain Jack sent me from North Carolina. Uh, it was a good idea, but it did not work. I'm trying to set this shot up because I'm trying to put the chair like in the center of the room, and then I, so I can just go. I can show you the viewer or you the um, customer. You know, here's this one, and here's how it sounds, and blah blah blah, and then go one, two, three, four. You know, and then just plant the shot right here on top of the piano. Maybe I'll do this shot right here. Do you like from way behind the, I don't know yet. It's still too, still too whatever. So, all right. All right, I'll be right back. I'm talking game business, son.
Oh man, they know what they're doing. What? Oh, here comes the cat. <laughs> you again, messing up my shot, dude. Okay, when in doubt, do what my dad would, would have done. When he was here, he drove five million miles, a Vietnam vet. He traveled all across America as a truck driver. He knew every Walmart and Kmart. Like, he knew where stuff was, like, on the shelves. If you said, hey, Dad, where's a uh, a Bauer multipod tripod? He'd go, oh, it's in the back, back, back. This was, like, $14. And um, this part right here fits the phone. So that's cool. Look at this extension thing in here. 14 bucks, dude. What's up? That's cool. So if you need one of these for your own purposes, that's not... I think there's Joe, Joe B or Jojo, but I keep forgetting what it is. I was buying them from um, Micro Center. I bought two of them. And they're like 40 bucks. And the bigger ones are like 80 bucks. You know, whatever. So we'll see if this works. I need to, I want to shoot this um, video. And then, yo, boom! Bro, I just walked in there, saw this stuff in the back. This is that music go around. If you... If you have a music go around near you, check them out or go online, dude. They got great deals. I was just gonna go in there and try to find like a like a you know forty dollar, thirty dollar, fifty dollar vantage or crate or you know something whatever. This is in the box, dude. I grabbed it. I have a box, and so I'm just gonna go with it. I just want to do this, you know, one thing, and that's cool. That was like a like a hundred bucks. What did I spend for that? Don't tell my wife, dude. She's gonna... What's your deal, yo? So look, now, 129, 130. So now I gotta sell these uh, guitars to pay for this. I gotta sell a guitar just to pay for the gear for the hot sauce guitar kitchen, love it. Boom. Always before me, bro. You always gotta keep, if you're going through a tough time, man, you know, always keep the Bible verses right, right in front of you, dude. Drown yourself in them. Psalm 91 is something that I've been really gleaning from. I've been trying to memorize this. My little girl uh, printed this for me. I don't love the New Living Translation, but it was really good to read, and it's just been great. And then, um, of course, reflecting on Isaiah 58. So let's do this thing. Get back and shoot this. Why am I in a hurry? So I'm going to shoot this video to get it out, to give people time to, like, hopefully... Order one of hope. I hope it'll be like a sales bonanza, then they'll just sell like mm, 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 like a my pillow, you know what I'm saying? Um, speaking of my pillow, I hope it works. Box is just banging, but I gotta hurry up and shoot this video, I gotta edit it. <clears throat> the wife's going to the um to the annual Christmas party tonight, and so she threw me under the bus is making me and my son drive my little girl to her basketball game. I love my little girl. I'm not, I'm, one thing you need, gotta know about the Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen is the Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen isn't a sports guy. Uh, you know, basketball, baseball, soccer, football. Like when you're playing football, what do you get like a three point shot from like the end zone when you're like, when you're going like five yards and you knock it into the end zone, you know what I'm saying? And the catcher catches the football. Like, you know, I don't... What is it like? Is, is it football or is it soccer? I don't know, dude. So what I'm saying is, is I'm kind of aggravated, to tell you the truth. I'm not full of hate. It's my little girl, dude. But, you know, what I'm saying is... I swear traffic over here just gets worse and worse like, every day. All right, so that's why we're rushing. That's why we're breathless with anticipation. Oh, well, this is a good time to discuss this then. So value for value, I'm going to put my little, you know, this whole idea of going to um, art, art events and, you know, places where you set up your tent, you set up your boxes and you travel and all that stuff. I've done that a couple of times now. It's, it's, it's fun. It's a lot of work, you know, you know, whatever. I'm not going to grumble and complain, but. So I was kind of wondering if, if it would be cool. And then, then I did the, the eBay thing. Then I did the Etsy thing. And everyone's kind of like, everyone, it's like, they're like mosquitoes, dude. Everyone wants a little piece of the pie. So when you order something on eBay, you know, I, no one's trying to be a rich guy here. But you sell, like, say I sell a box for like 350 You know, eBay takes this. And then 
in order to lure people to, to buy it, then you got to offer free shipping. And so if I sell a box of 350, well, 50 bucks off the top goes for shipping. And then um, eBay takes their cut, Etsy takes their cut. Uh, the same thing with Reverb. So it's kind of it's kind of discouraging in a way, you know, you know, whatever. It's not like I'm, tr I'm saying so. I like this idea that I learned from No Agenda. Again, John C. Dvorak and uh, Adam Curry, who is the godfather of podcasting. Uh, they do a, a, a thing, you know, where they do value for value, you know, in this toxic environment where everyone's all easily triggered and everyone's easily cancelable. If you say one thing, if you have sponsors who a lot of times are big pharma, you know, then they, they cancel you. The hot sauce guitar kitchen, dude, I built them in my basement, you know. But it would be fun to find a way to like get a little more uh, income generated, you know, not to buy, you know, a gold plated tires for my car, but just to kind of reinvest into the, into the building and also for the family, dude, you know, just to have money to pay bills. Um, so they have a thing where it's called value for value. And what it means is I'm going to put this QR code up for each bill. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to charge for it. You tell me what you think it's worth. There are some people that are going to watch this video or maybe you've, you've been watching for a while and you've wanted one. It's the Christmas season. And bro, maybe you've only got a hundred bucks. You know what I'm saying? So you'll hit the QR code and it's Venmo. So it's, it's no, there's no sketch here, dude. If it doesn't work out, Venmo will deal with it. You know, go watch my 400 and, and gazillion videos of, of good Cigar Box Guitar Madness. There's no guile here, dude. Um, just, you know, I got kids and all these responsibilities, so I just, traveling and stuff is just starting to become a, a hassle. For, anyways, value for value, you got a hundred bucks and you snap the code and then somehow I, I'll get your address and then I'll ship it and you give the money, whatever. Some people watching this have got it like that, you know, right? So that, you know, I don't kind of have the, the, the moxie right now to like 500 bucks, thousand bucks. You know, I build these things and I pour my heart, mind, and soul into them. You know, then I make the videos, then I edit the videos, and then I do all the traveling, and then I do all the stuff. So like, I'm like a one-man show. I like that in a way because, you know, it's difficult having other people work with you, especially when you're working from home and all that. Some people may have 500 bucks or 1,000 bucks and be like, I just appreciate your work. I want to support your work. Snag it. Then you, that's what you can pay for it. You know, so it's kind of like, again, value for value. If you're getting value from this channel and you dig it, um, this is your chance to get a box and just, let's say you don't even play. You just want to buy it for, you want to hang it up or you want to give it as a gift. You know, um, whatever you pay, that's between you and me. I, that doesn't need to be broadcasted all over, whatever. So I'm just going to try this. It's just an idea. I'm just going to try this for the Christmas season. I'm going to put the boxes up. I'm gonna put the QR code up and then I'm gonna go through the boxes one at a time. I need to hurry up, I know. I don't want this to be like epically long video. Um, I'll show you that it works. I'm gonna show you it's playable. Um, if I had time, I would I would play a song per, per box. Oh, that's another thing too, with value for value. I'm taking these boxes and if you if you heard any of the music on my channel, other than when I'm seeing like the live band or I'm, I'm kind of playing air guitar or whatever, uh, um, all the songs on here were written on cigar box guitars. You know, that's just, I've always loved writing music. Primarily heavy metal rock, punk, um, alternative rock. But then I've kind of graduated also into just a bunch of genres of guitar music, dude. And so, so I take these boxes when I'm doing it for like customers or whatever, and I'll take the box, put it into the um, computer, put a, a simple drum track over it, and then I just play over it. A lot of times, I, many times, most times, if you listen to any of the songs on here, I haven't even practiced them, dude. I put the drum machine on and, um, and I just play. And the idea being is, you know, I used to spend hours in the studio and I had a studio and trying to make anything tweaking. And it just, you know, when you have a family and kids, you turn it, and then you turn into a studio rat, deadbeat dad. So these ones, the idea with this being this, I just want to show you that they work. I want to show you that they play. I want to show you that, that you can go on tour with them. You can play them on stage. Um, you know, if they need to be adjusted or whatever, you know, you can have a guitar tech if you don't know how to, to fix them, adjust them. 
or you can adjust them yourself. That's the whole kind of craft of cigar box guitar building. I send you this guitar, and you're like, I don't like this, I don't like that. Dude, tear it apart, put something else on there. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's like Legos. So value for value. That's what we're gonna do in this video. Seven minutes, I see. And um, do you get my point, you know what I'm saying? So we'll go back over here to the, the studio, uh, fire them up, I'll show the tag, and then um, I'll leave this video float for a week or two. And then um, I'm gonna have to put, pull it down because if it's too long, then maybe someone's gonna watch it like a year from now and be like, that just sold. So value for value. Listen to No Agenda, the No Agenda podcast, to kind of figure out how it works. They support their whole podcast with this with this platform, and then that gives people room to like breathe. And then if you give me five hundred bucks to a thousand bucks for a video for a, a build, again, you know they're worth it, dude. They're little cigar box guitars, but they're workable art. Um, you may cover the person that says I'm only going to give you a hundred bucks, and then the person's so broke they want me to spend fifty bucks in shipping. And I'm not going to, I'm going to be like, dude, I give it to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Because he's been good to me, I'm going to be good to you. So it'll help. I don't know, we're just going to see. It's, it's an experiment. Um, so, peace. Side note. You know, I've been geeked out, geeked out about those QR codes. You know, the mark of the beast, the end time world system. Everybody's tracking you. By the way, dude, it's 2023. You are being tracked. If they want to track you, it's just like my dad told me before he died. He goes, don't worry about it, dude. If they want to get you, they're going to come get you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So don't be worried. Don't, you know, don't worry about using the QR codes. It's, it's a brave new world. They used to use those QR codes to when my little girl did her Christmas concert. They put the QR code up on the um, big screen. So if you wanted to get the program, you could take your phone. And it's weird how your, your smartphones, if you just aim it at it, they just go right to it. So, you know, we're just doing fun stuff. This is just hobby stuff, dude. And, and I'm just trying to send the love, pass some fun information around. And, and remember, we live in, I call the artwork tension. You know, we're in the world, but we're not of the world. But we're in the world. You know, so if you see some of these songs and these rock bands, or whatever, and, and some people aren't into them, some people are like, why, you know, you're a Christian and, you know, why are you, bro, we have a, we have a testimony to say, this is where I've been from, you know what I'm saying? And, and music and there's all kinds of great songs and, and, you know, so I'm just babbling now, dude. Um, so my point is just being like, don't be geeked out about using the QR code, snap it. Go to Venmo. I'll put my thing up there and then do the money. I'll ship it out. Oh, I got to get Captain Hall and Mad Murdoch to get up. I got to get some more boxes because uh, box crafting is. Have you seen those videos? Just box crafting? Are you just shut up, man? All right, this is going to be a hoot. Talk fast, think fast, listen fast. This Vox bass ant, this practice bass ant is just mm, for my intents and purposes. This is going to be for number three. The bass slash baritone. It sounds like a bass guitar, but it feels like a uh, cigar box guitar. So we're gonna do this one real quick. Then we're gonna do this one and this this one and this one and this one through the box. And then for the fa the finale piste de raison, then we're gonna do the EVH fifty one fifty through the um the the Morley stereo chorus. This is a volume pedal. I started taking volume pedals. I started taking, if it's my own jam, and I learned this from my from my number one, the HMS. I used to play this on stage, dude, like through big amps and through big distortion, you know, overdrive pedals. I don't like the word distortion. I like the word, I don't want to distort my sound. I want to overdrive and give it big barbecue gain. Anyway, so you just, there's no volume in here, dude. So this goes from piezo disc to there, and I just got the craziest sound. So these aren't built for me, they're built for you. So some have volume, some don't, whatever. But, um, so that's where I got this the idea for the stereo volume. So that way, you know, it's a volume pedal, so that way when you're on stage and you don't have a volume knob, you can just use this. And then the, st my, I, the stereo thing to me is near and dear to my heart, dude. So I'll actually, when we, ideally, uh, in the, in the process of World War III, um, we'll let you get like an EVH two. Okay, sh dude, focus, bro. All right, let's go. I I'm, I'm hyped because I just ran the, the 51 and 50 through here and here. Dude, <laughs> let's do this thing.
value for value on, I put up the uh, QR code. Column Mata, this is made of a Column Mata olive box. Look, don't let me down, I'm on the damn flow. Did you see uh, No Lockdown 2.0? Don't like me down, I'm on the dance floor, right? As another footnote to be placed into the uh, bibli, as another footnote placed into the bibliography. Here, you, if you get this, you're gonna get the, the original lyric for "No Lock Down 2.0." Don't let me down. I'm on the dance floor. Do you feel vexed? Do you feel hexed? This song's on the YouTube channel. Well, back in the video somewhere. If you hit me up, I'll find it for you. I forgot what it's called. I named my stuff the craziest. Free, I freeform jazz think the titles of the whatever. All right, this will come with this. Bam. All right, look. You see that? The Return of the King. Hmm. Hmm. On this next build, the the position markers came from the back of this book in the appendix. And it's called the Anger Angerathes, whatever. So I think I keyed them up to this. So this isn't like. This isn't like witchcraft stuff, dude. It just came from this, whatever. What is that, from the elves or the dwarves? So anyways, that's where it came from. I'm currently reading, again. Is this thing recording? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, let me get strapped real quick. Yeah, but this is what I'm talking about, right there. Wood burnt into there. It's got double strings here. These are um, um, acoustic phosphor bronze, three string, and it's got this crazy spacing. Sometimes Dell was, she slow down, dude, slow and low. Sometimes Dell was teaching us how to do these crazy um, scales where you pull out certain um, frets for like, like a blue scale or like a fun scale to kind of make it easy to play. It's kind of like a dulcimer or the sea or the seagull. I need a strap real quick. I'll show it to you Bob. Oh, I got guitars hanging everywhere. This one is an example of where it's just a piezo in here, and this is a three way switch right here. It goes from this piezo, piezo disc. I could probably just put one in, one in here, but I was just trying to be fun with the switch. It's supposed to be like this one, these two, and this one, but you may or may not hear the, the major difference in them, but they do work. So, up here is a nylon. So, like down here is a nylon. So, it's plugged in. Yeah.
there's no strap on here. Some of these guitars you don't have to put straps on, so I kept this one or whatever. So. What that means is these are the 107th and 108th guitars that I've pan fretted. So it's it's not a pride thing, it's just a, I think it's just cool that I've never done the same thing over and 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 over, and over, and over other than washing dishes. <laughs> Remember, this one does come, as I said earlier, with all the stuff. 114, this is the most recent one so far that I've just built. This is when I went to, um, did the, the headstock, the headstock idea with the lighthouse on it, big hole in it. You can insert a light in it, but that light right there. You can insert a light in it, but for the, our intensive purposes now. These are always the slides. If you don't know that, these are slides, hot sauce, cigar box, guitar, kitchen. You can pop them off and... So that's this natty sound. I'm demo, demo, demoing all these right now on the, on the 410. So this would be like a Fender. There's no effects on here. It's just the Fender 410. Dude, run, 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 Rudolph. Santa's gotta make it to town. I gotta make it to go pick up my girls in two different schools. Stay at home, Dad. All your Venmo support, all your value for value support goes to helping this dude out. This came from Bear Boss Guitar, Barry McHugh, I believe. See his stuff on Instagram. What a guy, man. I, I said I wanted this box, and he just gave it to me. He just mailed it to me. 
I mean, I can hook that dude up. All of that, time out, Kevin. <laughs> so all of that was done on the Vox Mini 5 Rhythm, my beloved one. I learned about one, the dude, Mike Hearn, Philly, Jersey, made me my number one. He was busking in Philly, dude. I mean, that's balls to the walls, dude. So he was using one of his cigar bass guitars. He built me this one. And um, the next build I built on the box type that he gave me, this um, Bomba box. Bomba, Bomba. He sent me like, or I bought like a bunch of them from him. And so that's why this next one's special too. But the next one's gonna be beef eating barbecue game, which is why I went and got that bass amp. So let me just get this. Number, okay, I gotta do this dilly bow. Built this for my girls from CB. This is a kit from CB Giddy. Obviously, I had more fun building it than my girls did, but they did uh, do some artwork on it. But I keep bumping into it, so I can move it over here. Took the back out. Check, check. I'm, uh, so, yeah, so this one just has a pickup in it. Volume and tone, and that's it. No, no switches. This is number three of the Tactical 10. Check that series out back there in the videos. Volume. Tone subtle in this one. Oh, this one also has the Dell Puckett, um, what is this called? Just intonation scale on it. You have to go check out Dell Puckett's channel, type in just intonation, and he'll show you exactly what this is. Remember, this is a sound check. I could jam on this stuff all day long, dude. style guitar I was really psyched when I made these dudes took a check that series out dude I was hyped when I made these ones and I love the way this came out in the back check is there a piers in here yo 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 and those are kind of hitting in the back here so I just kind of cut those holes and now it was cool so you got the, the gold in there against the black bam whoo this one should be a G or two I would rather you didn't offer uh, 50 bucks for this one I'm just saying, not to be all whatever. All right, I gotta get that little that little clicker that turns the camera on and off. Oh man, run, Rudolph, run! Nothing more annoying when you get a Fender cable made in China and you're all hyped trying to flow. And I knew this didn't work. I was I just plugged it in, dude. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh no, are my pots messed up? My brand new amp? Did I blow something? It's the core, dude. I hope. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, 
the EDH 105. It's not made by EDH, but mouse, I already discussed all this one. So sound check, focus. With my first tremolo, check out the um, Kings Leon Dreams Jam Bon Jang video. All right, ready? Here's his natural sound. I got tuned low into barbecue gain. Do you wanna know why? Oh, where's my, where's my gain business? My gain business thing, oh, you get it. All right here. <clears throat> the Hot Sauce Cigar Boss Guitar Kitchen is all about, at the end of the day, gain business. You see what I'm saying? Boom. I love this. If I could spend hours dialing this in. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I bring for you barbecue game.
Mr. Fun Card. Sales Bonanza. So hook me up, bro. Pull that checkbook out. Or what is it? Bitcoin. I don't take Bitcoin yet. I don't know how to do that. Don't send me Bitcoin. I'm just kidding. I'm, not, I'm all copy. This is Bezalel and Aholiab. Do you know who Bez, Bezalel and Aholiab are in your, your Bible? Go check out who made the tabernacle. Spirit of wisdom and knowledge, creativity as given through the good Lord Jesus Christ. Boom! Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen trying to encourage you, do, you know, and share the, the love and the joy of Jesus in my own broken way. Peace! Captain? Ha <laughs> ha Please? Chuck Wagon Cook, you be back here. Firing up that barbecue game. Listen, smell it, smell it. Listen, listen, smell it. Old son, yo, that's working back here. Where's he at? He's up back over here working. Look, smoking back here. Look, this is him. He be sitting up in that tent all day long, man. He's doing his thing. Well, I tell you what, I wouldn't mind having some of that for, for real. This. Uh, side note, footnote, to be placed into the bibliography um, or appendix. All of the intimate details of these, every single box on here, every single one is on my Instagram. It was on the Hot Sauce Cigar Boss Guitar, Hot Sauce Cigar Boss Guitar Kitchen Instagram. It'll give you the, what's in it, it'll, the scale length, and lots of different cool pictures. So um, this is just going to be a real quick, to, you know, to not keep this video like super epic. 
and plug it in and show you that they work. I might even play a song with them. Did you dig it? Keep oil in your lamps, my friends. Watch and pray. Oh, boy, I tell you what, man. It's so cold out here in winter camp. I wish I had me a S Starbucks, man. Talk about some Starbucks, man. Oh, man, that peppermint. That peppermint mocha comes out every year this time, man. Whew, I'll be tearing it up. Man, we, ain't nobody trying to worry about some Starbucks, man. You need to, you need to stop fooling with me. Okay, are you, t are you are literally t attacking the chickens while I'm trying to film this? Go do something. Get. <laughs> I'm talking game business, son.